Hello folks. This video really doesn't have a lot to do with uh, living in Ecuador or retirement in Ecuador. This is about something completely different, but it does involve Ecuador. As most of you that know me know that I'm a photographer and have been since I was 10 years old. My dad gave me a little Kodak Instamatic camera and that's how I took an interest in photography. I started taking pictures of everything. I was a photographer in high school for three years and which is where I really learned a lot about photography and I learned about a lot about film processing, black and white photography, color slide photography, color film photography. I continued to do photography, film photography for a number of years after high school. I actually joined the army so that I could go to Vietnam and be a combat photographer. That's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to be on the front lines and catch all the action and get it all on film. Unfortunately, I had an injury in basic training and I was medically discharged and I didn't get to go to Vietnam, didn't even get to finish my career in the Army. I continued working as a photographer for a number of years doing weddings and working for another independent photographer in Austin, Texas. And then I finally uh, kind of got out of it. I couldn't, I couldn't make a living at it and I just kind of got away from it. Then in the late 80s and early 90s when the digital photography industry was born, I developed a completely renewed interest in it because of computers and because of the fact that we could take pictures and see the results on the back of the camera right away. I was struck by the curiosity about, you know, how far can I go with this? Of course, I had to learn a lot of stuff on Photoshop and Lightroom. I had to learn about editing and so forth, and I still do today. I don't think I'm ever going to master this craft, but I work at it as hard as I can. Here in Mancha, there's an area called Playa de Tarqui. Playa de Tarqui means the beach of Tarqui. On this beach in Tarqui, there's a boat yard. I don't know if it's been abandoned. Most of the boats that you see there look like they're under construction, but they don't look like they've been worked on in a long time. I spent about a couple hours there a while back taking pictures. It was a cloudy, overcast day, kind of, you know, partly cloudy, and then it would be, the sun just came and went the whole time I was there. I um, took probably 20 or 30 pictures and when I got home and looked in, looked at the results, I wasn't really happy with what I saw. I, uh, I wasn't happy with the results from that were straight out of the camera. So I had to uh, put my skills to work and, and enhance these images within Lightroom and Photoshop, which is pretty much the case for just about every picture I take. I don't take pictures anymore. I try to create images and if my audience takes a second look at my pictures then I feel like I've succeeded and I'm happy. I don't really need much more than that. So what you're about to see is a series of photographs that I took of this boatyard and it's everything is there's two pictures of everything that's in this film. The first image that you see is the image straight out of the camera and the second image is the results of post-processing. I don't claim to be an expert in this, but I just, I play around with exposure, settings, shadow, highlights, midtones, contrast, crop. I remove things from the images that I don't want people to see. I highlight, I dodge and burn, and I sharpen, and I just do the best I can to make the image look appealing. I hope you like the images that you see and the results of the work. Uh, we're going to do an art show here in Monta at the Voyager Hotel, November 15th. And my images, or most of these images, are going to be on display during this exhibit. And they're going to be available for sale. And all the money that is raised for selling these images is going to charity. It's going to a children's charity that helps raise money for Christmas gifts for kids. So enjoy. If you like what you see, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up subscribe. You can ring the bell if you want to know about new videos that I'm posted. I'm not going to do a whole lot of videos about photography. My This channel is about retirement and living in Ecuador, but I hope that for those of you who are photographers or want to be photographers, I hope you're inspired by this. And, and when you get here, and if you want to learn how to do this, this work like you see here, 
I'll show you how to do it and I won't even charge you. I'll do it just for the fun of it. There'll be a, a commitment on your part that you'll have to commit to, but I guarantee you if you do and you give it 100%, it's something you can enjoy the rest of your life. And Manta and Ecuador has an abundance of things to photograph, all the way from landscapes to the ocean, to wildlife, to the people, to the architecture, and sadly to say, even earthquake damage. A lot of the stuff that you see in Tarki are remnants from the big earthquake in 2016. So, that's it. Take a look at the pictures. If you like it, let me know. If you have any questions about how I did anything, ask me and I'll be happy to tell you. So from Monta, Ecuador, thanks for watching.